takes a lot of people to put together a feature film or a TV show. There's lighting, set design, costumes, and many more. Well, today, we meet a key player, the special effects makeup artist. Hi, Vienna. Hi. Oh, nice my you. goodness. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome to my monster world. Wow, this you is phenomenal. Want me to give you a tour? Yes, please. Let's go. OK. My name is Joël Echelier. The job is special makeup effects, and we're here in Coquitlam today. A special makeup effects artist is someone using special tools and creative tools to change someone's face into a monster or into someone else. And we create everything that cannot be created with regular makeup. So transformation, uh, bloody wound, uh, creatures. Yeah, this is time to put the gloves on. So what are we looking at? This one is a prosthetic, it's a, it's a puffy eye. I'm about to demold. I'm gonna do that right now for you guys. There we go, comes out. Wow. So this is, uh, after lots of hours of, of creation, we, we went from the sculpting part down to the molding, down to the injection with chemicals, that's why we're wearing gloves. Mm -hmm. And then we get the prosthetic final product that's gonna be handed over to the makeup artist and it will be applying that on the actor's face. And we're gonna see somebody with that today. Yes, indeed, I'm gonna do the application today. A typical day um, in a workshop is a long day, first of all. We usually do 12-hour day, and that's a standard. We start in the morning, we put some music on, and everybody goes to creative mode, and we sculpt and we mold, and uh, it's a happy environment, and it could be sculpting the whole day. We will do mold making, so if a sculpture is finished, it needs to get molded. So you gotta be pretty good with your hands. Yes, indeed. Um, so, you know, very precise, uh, precise work, you know, trying to uh, paint that. So you gotta be, you gotta be really good with your hand. Mm -hmm. um, Attention and then to visualize, detail. visualize what you're doing, you know, colors, mixing your colors. Um, it's, it's really a, a fine art. I have my a certificate for traditional makeup. After that, I had to, you know, learn on my own. In Canada, you have few schools that will teach you the craft, everything from regular makeup up to the creation of prosthetic um, in a shop. So this is really, really good. The schools are usually between six and eight months. To do this job, you need to be innovative, definitely innovative, uh, problem solving. Uh, we're facing every minute of the day a challenge. So how long would it take to do something like this on set? Well, uh, it took us uh, about 40 minutes for, uh, for a puffy eye and, uh, and a massive injury on the forehead, so you can imagine how, much, how long it would take to get a full head and maybe a costume, you know, three, three and a half hours. Communication is, is very important. We need to clarify what's gonna be every step of the way so everybody works towards the same goal. When I introduce myself as a, as a makeup artist, uh, people think I do regular makeup, I do beauty makeup and bridal makeup, and I have to always say, no, 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 I do special makeup effects, which is a completely different world. So when you start in the, the effects business, you start in your creating world and, and you create, then you are in a little bubble and you create. And after years of experience, you can slowly step out of that and then and become a, a key person running running uh, an effect entirely for the movie. And then if you want to move uh, even higher, you can become a manager of the shop and you get into more, uh, a little bit less on the arty part of it, but more on the business side of it. And you can take care about scheduling and talking to the production and producers. You had the passion, just keep, keep going into your passion and you're gonna succeed. Um, it's really about really wanting to do it. The best part of the day is when we finish a product and we test it and we have these big giant nine foot creatures walking down the parking lot and, and all the team is looking at it and I, and I look at their face and they're all smiling and that makes me happy, that's the best part of my day. Well, thanks Viviana. I hope you learned something today. I sure did and I had a lot of fun too. Well, right, we'll see you next time. Okay. Once again, this is Career Trek, and I'm Viviana reminding you that this career could be yours. We'll see you next time.